In the estuary field below the gardens, we're doing a bit of carpentry. We've got two staves here that have already been done. These are all Bread black. or beer or gunpowder, it was all kept in barrels. Phil's taking a break from digging to see how they used to make barrels and to lend a hand to Jim Newlands, our time team cooper. The narrower on the inside than they are on the outside, so as you then create your circle. So they don't they leak? Yeah. So what do we do? Well, first of all, we're going to hollow out the inside of the, the stave so as right. it makes it easier for bending. Right. You won't risk Barrels have been the principal method of storing and transporting goods for over 4,000 years. They were used in ancient Egypt, and it was the Romans who first brought barrels to Britain. The word cooper comes from the Latin for barrel maker, cuparius. It's a highly skilled job, and the apprenticeship to become a cooper takes five years, in contrast to Phil's five minutes. Remember and keep it smooth. Oh, I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you have an absolute apoplexy watching me ruin a perfectly good piece of oak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks all right. Look at that. Let's knock them all together. Yeah. Jim and Phil have shaped the top of the barrel, but it seems that the bottom is more complicated. Now you'll wet the inside with a cloth or a sponge to stop it from burning. You just want to heat it up. So what's the point of heating it up? Well, this will help pull all the, the staves in in the bottom. So if you tried to close them in just now, it wouldn't happen. You would just break all the staves. So the heat actually softens the wood. And then you can put on your other hoops, these, and knock them up the same as we did with this one, pull it all together. I mean, is it the actual smoke? I mean, you're not actually got a raging inferno No, in no, there. it's just the, the heat and the steam. Steam? Yeah, that helps make the wood a lot more supple to bend, bend it, in. it back in. And how long does it have to stay like this? About two, two and a half hours. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure they're all wet all the way down. Just turn it over onto there. Is it hot? It'll be slightly oh. warm. The steaming seems to have worked, and Phil and Jim are now able to draw together the staves at the bottom of the kilderkin. I'll just give it a knock down for a right. start. It's all yours. Barrels are the shape they are to make for easy storage, and also because they can then be rolled along a quay to a boat, for instance. One amazing thing. Once the contents have been used, the hoops can be lifted off and the barrel will come apart, like a flat pack, which can be reassembled when it's next needed. Brilliant, isn't it? That's it. Look at that. Toy as a drum, aren't they? So, it's one hand underneath there, and one hand on the top there. Yep. He's really got stuck into this barrel making. They're well on the way to finishing. Phil has to create a groove inside the top edge so that the head will sit tight inside the barrel. OK, we're ready for the head. Oi! Right, so it goes cant, goes opposite the bung. If you're wondering why it doesn't leak, it's because the staves are wedge-shaped and when the liquid's put in, the wood expands to seal the gaps. <laughs> Just testing. How does that look? Well, there's one thing that strikes me. How are we going to actually put the beer into it? What a hole. Right. <laughs> At the end of the 17th century, this site would have been buzzing. Beer was being made, great piles of ammunition stood waiting for an engagement, and whatever was needed by the Navy was thrown into barrels and rowed out to the gunships in the harbour. It would have been a Portsmouth of the North. You couldn't believe just how much effort, work, labour and craftsmanship it goes to make one of these things. I'm amazed, really am amazed. Does it affect the taste of the oh, beer? Oh, you though? bet. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. 
It's fine. <laughs> 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 See you later. <laughs>